Now, let me take my, my next uh, questions. Uh, do I have Enes from Takrade? Yes. Okay, Enes. Um, my ahead. name is Enes. Like you said, I'm calling from Takrade. Okay. My question is just simple. Okay. Is there any standard number of years within which, you know, a family can make re-entry into a land that you have acquired? Because sometimes you buy a land, you see five years, sometimes you see three years, some other times you see like 10 years. Is there any standard number of years within the law that the family can make re-entry when you don't develop the, 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 the plot? Okay. Uh, so, Kwame uh, Jan uh, will take your question for you, but let's take the next person. Uh, Michael from yes. Achimota. Yes, um, I just want to point out briefly about uh, when uh, a property is rolled to you, and uh, the person who is rolled to him pass on, does his spouse have possession of it, or it goes back to the family? Okay. So the one who granted the property to you is dead? Is dead. Okay. So you are asking whether... What, what, what happens to you now? My for is... says, my mother passes it, yes, I pass on. Does it go to my, my spouse and children, or it goes back to the family? Okay. So did you get that question? I want you to address it. It's not clear at all. Okay. Can you ask the question again? My question is... When, for instance, my mother wills it up to me. Wills, wills property to you? Yeah, to me. Okay, okay. And then, uh, God forbid, I passed on. And you pass on? Yes. Ah, okay. Does it go to uh, uh, my uh, wife? Uh, ah, does it go to your back? children? Okay, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Uh, is, it, is it that your mother... You pass on before your mother died. Exactly. He predeceased the mother who has the will for him. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank All you, right. Mike. Um, uh, okay. Another Michael. This Michael yes, from... Another Michael, yeah. The way, yeah. Michael, let's hear you. Uh, I want to find out when uh, you buy land for traditional land holders or land owners, and you, you are given a, a title, a deed, and uh, those papers, what was the last document to... to to hold as a land owner. What's the land document to be processed for you? Okay, so uh, Veronica will answer your question. Uh, what document completes your title to yeah. the land? All right, yeah. so uh, uh, I think we can pause here and take the answers. So the NS, so NS, NS question, yeah. NS is uh, an interesting question. Right. We don't have specific legislation which says a family or a grantor can re-enter after one day or two days. Mm -hmm. the, the lease you have entered into itself is a contract. Okay. It's a contract which conveys to you an interest in land. But it is also governed by the rules of contract, as we know in contract law. Mm -hmm. So if in the contract it says three years, it is three years. Okay. But what um, my colleague, Mr. Poku, talked about earlier in this law, is the provisions on the exercise of the right of forfeiture, mm. you know, which has been uh, fully exhausted. So there is no statute which says it is two years or one year or three years, but it is determined on a case-by-case -case basis according to the lease agreement. Right. So you enter that agreement with your landlord, mm -hmm. and the thing you are holding called the indenture, what you are exactly. familiar with as indenture, exactly. you see the terms are there. So if it says three years, then it is three years. But this new law says it, the person cannot immediately come and take it over. He must give you notice and ask you to, you know, remedy the breach you have committed. If you don't, then they take over. Okay, so yeah. uh, Mike, whose mother has predeceased, uh, who, who says if he predeceases the mother, who made a will and gave uh, property to him? So the, the gift, Mike, the gift will fail. If you... you predecease your mother means that portion of the, uh, the world will fail because you are not alive. So uh, other clauses of your, the world will determine who will have the property. It will not automatically go to your children okay. because you should be alive to receive the property mm -hmm. before it gets to your children. Right. Once you are not alive and you have, di you have died before your mother, mm. uh, either the residual clause or other provisions in there will determine where the property will go. Okay. And in very good wills, there will be a 
clause that will suggest mm. that the people that I'm giving these things to, something may have happened to them. Mm. And if that happens, this is what should happen. Mm. Uh, the last question was Mike in Dewenya. And your question was to, uh, is Veronica who is uh, answering your question? What document completes your title as quote unquote owner of the land? Yes, uh, Mrs. Rimpong. Michael, it depends on where you are, where in Ghana you are. If you are within a, reg a title, land title registration district, then your document terminates or it's completed when you receive a land title certificate. However, if the area you are has not been declared as a land title registration district, then you register the indenture or the deed that has been given to you. All right. So land title certificate is the last document you will get in some circumstances. And in other circumstances, you simply go and register the deed. That's the document you're having that shows that you have, uh, as it were, acquired the land. Um, Peter in Adenta, this is my last set of uh, phone calls I'm taking. Peter in Adenta. Peter, let's hear you. Yes, please. Thank you for the opportunity. My good problem. My question is: My father called me about three days ago at the north that he, our hometown chief who resides in Accra have come to set. Even if me, as his son, come to build on the land that he's staying on, which was left over marriage to, with our grandfather, we are going to pay a money to the chief before we can build. I want to find out what should we do because. I will not go and then be building on my own grandfather's land and just pay money. This is a law from the chief. I want to find out. So what, should, what, should, what should we do? Which part of the north are you talking about? This is Upper West region. Upper West? Yes. Okay, so... Where, where is that? Uh, where, where in the Upper West? Okay, uh, we have lost him. So, Tindana Mates. Um, <laughs> okay, yes, uh, Yao. Yao, you are calling us from Accra. Yeah, something. Good morning. Morning. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful work you are doing today. And uh, thank you also for the guests you have on the program. I have a small issue that I want to uh, answer for. Be brief and go straight forward. All right. Sir. Thank you. Um, my senior brother bought a land in Anya, I think in the year 1993, 92, thereabout. And uh, he has a three bedroom house, the uh, foundation on it. Just uh, sometime last year, someone has just popped up that the land also belongs to him. And uh, it looks as if there's some conflict between Anya and Bawi. My brother is having a document from Anya, and the other is having documents from Bawi. I want your guest to clarify for me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> who really right. owns the land? Because okay. As, as, as it turns out, he's having documents. You're also having documents. So I don't okay. know which is which. Is there, is there other people in Bawe asking him to come and regularize, as they always say? Is that what they're asking him, or they want the property back? Is that what they're saying? No. For now, the one who claims uh, ownership from uh -huh. Bawe uh -huh. is saying that. It belongs to him, and uh, he wants to sell it. Oh, okay. See, what surprises me for all these years, this right. person has never shown up. Okay. All of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my Thanks. very last call is from Augustine. Augustine, you are calling from Siani. Let's hear you. Uh, yeah, please. I'm Augustine calling from Siani. I bought a land from one of the keys in Siani. And they gave me uh, uh, this thing, receipt. And there is a um, this sheet that indicates some um, uh, area scale of the land. So Certainly. I just want to know whether this document is enough for me to be a landholder or. Okay. Thank you very much. So three questions as uh, again. So we take them in that same order. Yes. So you start with Peter. Peter, I, 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 it's not easy to determine exactly where he is talking about. Okay. But if he is an indigent, 
like he's saying, right. his grandfather's land. That's right. He, by custom, is entitled to free use of a portion of the community land. Mm -hmm. And the judicial authorities supporting him are plenty. Okay. He has a case of Obli and Ama. He has a case of Amate and Hammond. All these cases are saying that a subject of a stool or a member of a family that has the Alodia title mm -hmm. is entitled to a free use of the usufruct. Right. And this one, they are in possession. Mm -hmm. You know, because right. they, they have a house there already. That's, that's right. So I think the chief will not be in a position mm. to ask them to come and pay monies to them. He is the issue fraud. He would have to render customary services to the stool. All right. Okay. Which, but I think that's about it. Right. I, I can't imagine getting back to the village and being told that I can't do anything on <laughs> my father's property except I do this to the chief there. It won't happen. Okay, so yes, Yao. Uh, yeah, he's talking about the Anya lands that uh, they had for since 1993. There are about three bedrooms on it, and now it looks like Bawe and Anya have uh, issues. Uh, yo, it appears that you said that you have uh, a foundation on the land. I hope it also you started the development that long in 1993. So there's a dispute between Anya and Bawe. We don't know who is the real owner. We don't have facts to determine who is the real owner. But what will stands uh, good for you is that you have developed. Once you have developed and you have been on the land for 18 years, close to 18 years, even if the ownership of Anya people feel probably adverse possession, uh, you can plead ad adverse possession and maybe uh, you can still keep the ownership of the land. All right. But you will probably will need legal advice if it comes to litigation. Of course. And don't give up the land. So In all the situations, uh, always, my good advice to you always is, see a lawyer closest to you. They will assist you. Um, now, uh, Augustine has uh, issue in uh, buying as it were, acquiring a land from a chief in Suyane, getting a receipt and a plan to the land. Uh, so Mrs. Verenka from, from Point, his question is, is that all he needs to have good title to the land? No, please. A receipt cannot be registered. So he requires a conveyance. That will show information, the name of the chief, his name, addresses, what's interest. He bought from a chief, so obviously it can't be a freehold because the constitution doesn't allow it. It obviously must be a lease. But how many years for the lease? how much rent is payable, all this information will be provided in the conveyance or the deed. And so he needs the deed. That will be signed by the chief, signed by him with witnesses. Then he attaches the site plan and submits it to Lands Commission, mm. first for concurrence and then registration. Okay. Uh, thank you so very much. Uh, let me now go on the wall, and we have just about some five minutes to close. And we have received tons of messages just saying thank you to you guys for this uh, education that you are receiving. Uh, Pelo Poku, I suspect Pelo Poku is uh, related to <laughs> Mr. Kofi Osu. Uh, she says, oh, daddy, uh, baby girl is proud of you. Okay. Emmanuel Damkwa says, there can never be a better time to have this discussion than now. Thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, then, okay, uh, right, okay, thank you. Some, somebody is asking where to get the, the books. And then Gifty is telling, Gifty Ose is telling the person that you can get some at the Ghana Publishing Company. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Right, so at the Ghana Publishing Company, that's where you get the law. Yeah. That's where you get the law. Uh, then, as for the books that I have referred to here, uh, this one, Land Law, Practice and Conveyancing in Ghana by, by uh, Justice, that is uh, a Justice of the Court of Appeal, Justice Dennis Dominic Ajay, which explains further this law, uh, can be found in any bookshop where you law legal uh, text is sold, Legon or anywhere. This is Lawyer Kwame Jan's seminal works. This is a customary land interest. Um, over a thousand pages. Um, if you see my personal copy, 
I have uh, tried to annotate it a bit. <laughs> no really annotation, just coloring the portions that are good for me. And then customary land management, customary land management, Kwame Jan, also over a thousand pages worth. But it's all good for all our learning. You could get them in any uh, Legon bookshop, uh, bookshops, legal bookshops you find in the country. And often EPP and the rest of them, they will always hold copies. So our time um, is up and we can't thank you enough. I have a question from a lawyer and I think I should ask you that question. He wants me to ask you or uh, Mrs. Veron Catherine Pong. He says, aside inheritance and gift, is it practically possible in the face of the litany of judicial authorities to effect to, to the effect that properties acquired in the course of marriage are presumed to be matrimonial property, to claim that property acquired by a spouse is his or her sole property in the absence of an express agreement to that effect, in the light of the judicial decision in the effect that matrimonial property are presumed to be jointly held, is it possible for a spouse to gift matrimonial property or even give same out in a will without the consent of the other spouse? I know where he's coming from. <laughs> you see? And that's coming from um, Chumesi Randolph. Mm -hmm. the, the point he has made is one of the issues that will have to be sorted out in that comprehensive review of the law. Spousal. Because what he has, what he has said technically, mm. a man cannot wheel out the matrimonial property even to the children. Okay from what he has said. Right. And that is a certain line of interpretation of the law. Mm. But if you interpret the law that way, it creates an absurdity. 